Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Courtney Shanice. Nice to meet you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate your continued support. So today is Happy Mask Monday. I haven't done one of these at all this year. I participated in this last year. If you haven't seen any of my previous ones, I have got a playlist which I will link down below. I used to love like joining the ladies, doing mask Mondays, doing all the masks, but I just found it such a like a hard time like to commit every week. Um, just because at that time I had so much going on. Um but I have got a mask and I thought, do you know what, I've got a tag that I saw that I had written down and I hadn't even done it, so I was like, now's the opportunity. So the mask I'm going to be using is the Vita Masquez Pearl Sheet Mask. This I believe I got in one of my glossy box. And this is a moisturising Korean face mask made with extracts of the pearl to brighten your skin. Inspired by Korean innovation, a triple layer sheet technology designed to enhance the moisture content within the mask and lead to an increased absorption rate within the skin. Sounds very nice. Wash and cleanse your face in preparation of applying your mask that I have done. Remove the mask from its packaging and place it tightly on the face, avoiding the eyes and lips. After 20 minutes, remove the sheet from the face and gently pat your face to let the remaining essence absorb into your skin. Sounds easy enough. I so much more prefer sheet masks. I do like other masks, like the ones that you have to apply like as a layer. Like I don't mind those, but the convenience of a sheet mask is much better. There's not a strong smell, which I personally really like. I think when something's going on your face, you don't want it to be too strong or chemically, like fragrance-wise. It is very, very wet. And I can just tell now it's going to be so cold. But... Let's see... These are always too big for me. It's like they make it so big. Okay. That's the best I'm going to get it. <laughs> okay. Feels really nice. Okay, so the tag that I'm going to be doing today is the TV series tag. So, I can't remember if I saw someone previously do this or if I just saw it online. Like I said, I was going through my notebook and I just found it and I was like, oh, I didn't do that one. So, if you did do it, apologies, um, do let me know in the comments and I will give you full credit. <laughs> Okay, so the first question is, what is my favourite TV series shows? So I love Miss Scarlet and the Duke, I love Sherlock Holmes, I love Death in Paradise, um, I love, like, what else? Um, I love, like, The Bake Off, The Great British Sewing Bee, um, what else? The Big Bang Theory, um, Spaced, so loads of different ones. Two, what is my favourite genre? I would definitely say I lean more towards the detective drama, um, but I do like comedy, um, so yeah. Series you fell out of love with, so from a very, very young age, I was obsessed with Doctor Who, like Christopher Eccleston was my first Doctor Who and, you know, 
watching him and then watching David Tennant, you know, they just made the character so, you know, lovable and they really played the character well and, you know, they changed it to Matt Smith and, you know, it was like, okay, you know, it's bearable, you know. But then after that, I just feel like Doctor Who just went downhill and yeah i just didn't bother watching anymore because it was just getting more and more unenjoyable and i just wasn't looking forward to it anymore so yeah that is definitely a big one and i'm really sad that i've fallen out of love with it i mean i haven't fallen out of love with it because i still love christopher elkiston and david tennant series and i'll rewatch them but anything else i just won't rewatch. um the four. What is the most rewatched show? Oh, that would probably be Jeremy Brett Sherlock Holmes. I absolutely love those series. Jeremy Brett is my favourite Sherlock, um, and I would say Death in Paradise. I watch quite a lot of that, like over and over again. Um, also, absolutely fabulous. I absolutely love that one. Um, do you prefer watching week by week or binge watch? Um, if I can, I will do week by week. Um, you know, maybe I might have to watch two episodes in one sitting if, like, I missed a week, but that's very rare. I'm one of those people, like, I've got it ready recording or I'm watching it at the time. Um, Favourite telly characters? Um, so Sherlock Holmes, um, absolutely love Miss Scarlet, um, and as well like I love all the Marvel like series that they've been doing, so like The Falcon Winter Soldier, Loki, WandaVision, um, I absolutely love The Mandalorian and Grogu, um, and I just feel like there's so many. <laughs> um i love um tim and daisy out of spaced um i love brian um marsha um and of course you've got sheldon and yeah there's just so many um a favorite telly ships hmm um, mm, definitely Eliza and William from the Skull and Duke. Um, I think Penny and Sheldon would have been a lovely couple. It's really sad they didn't end up together, but <laughs> um, Teddy Ships. Mm. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really one of those people where, like, I really ship people. I think I did a lot when I was younger, but now it's kind of like, I just watch things, you know. Um, I mean, my mum will probably disagree, because if there's something I don't like, then I'll get very involved. <laughs> um, what else? A show you can never get into. Uh, I would say Poldark. I know so many girls love Poldark and I watched the first series and I thought it was fairly good but then like the second series I just really couldn't get into it and I just gave up in the end. Um, and I also like Friends. Like I've seen it from beginning to the end like once but for me it was kind of like once was enough. Like my brother, he is obsessed with Friends and he'll rewatch it over and over and over again and he'll like get all the merch and I'm just like, nah, I really just can't get into it. But yeah. Um, a show that was cancelled too soon, uh, Whitechapel, Lincoln Rome, um, Atlantis, um, 
Dracula. Um, what else? I feel like there was loads. I should have written all the answers down, shouldn't I? But yeah, that's just some of the ones that ended so soon and I was so upset. But, oh well. Guilty pleasure shows. I really like the old classics like Porridge, The Good Life, Only Fools and Horses, like, you know, the really old like 70s, you know, 80s. The ones that like, my parents were watching growing up, you know. I just think they're so easy and like hearted to watch. Um, and you know, they're very family friendly and it's just nice that we can all sit together and watch the same thing. Um, so the last question is, what are you currently watching? So, so many people have been saying that I should really start watching The American Office. And I have started watching it. And I just, <laughs> I'm struggling to get into it, but a friend of mine told me you kind of have to get past series one and even part of series two. And then that's when it starts getting really addictive. So I'm coming, I'm like halfway through series one, so I'm like, okay, I'll stick it out, I'll carry on watching, and then hopefully by mid series two, series three, I will be able to appreciate it more. Um, because I know loads of you love The American The Office. Um, so yeah, we all, we all see. Um, but yeah. Well, that is the series tag. I hope you enjoyed. I will put all the questions down below for you if you would like to do this tag. Um, I am going to leave this on for a bit longer. Um, I said 20 minutes, it's been 12 minutes, so I will keep this on for a few more minutes and then I'll come back and I will let you know what I think. Okay, so I've just taken the mask off. As you can tell, there is a lot of serum, um, which is a good thing because, you know, if a mask is really dry, then it's kind of like, what was it doing at all? So I'm just gonna gently massage it in. But yeah, it feels very refreshing. I feel quite lifted, um, quite glowy. But yeah, I quite like it. It's quite relaxing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do check out the hashtag in my title description because there you'll be able to see all the other lovely ladies that are doing this um, Mask Monday collab and um, do show them some support and love and yeah, let me know what you think down below have you tried this mask? do you like this mask? what do you think of the series tag? let me know what are your favourite series um, give me any recommendations for series to watch I have now got Netflix um, so that's coming in very handy to watch series at the moment and movies um so yeah do give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye guys